What's up guys, I'm going to be demoing and unboxing the iPad camera connection kit. Let me go ahead and maybe cut this open if we need to. There's a little thin layer of, I don't know what you would call this, over to the top. Try not to slice my finger open doing this. So we got that cut off. Let's get the knife out of the way. Let's see what's the contents in the box. Do we get it open all the way? Yeah, there we go. So we have the camera connection kit. All right, when you pull that out. what you get right out of the box. On the inside we have camera connection kit, Apple one year warranty. So now let's go and get into the, let's get this out of the way. Let's get into the camera connection kit. Let's get this open right here. So we have an SD card reader and a USB. I didn't know it says for a camera, but it is a, let me focus this. It is a USB. So yeah, we have a USB and a micro, not a micro, an SD card reader. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my iPad in so we can demo this. I do have an SD card that does have some content on it, so let's go ahead and bring the iPad in. Go ahead and slide to unlock that. Let's try out the SD card reader first. Pop the SD card reader into only into the bottom of the iPad. I was going to get the lightning. Um, camera reader so lightning to USB but I figured since I already have an iPad 2 and an iPod that I, all, almost all the s stuff I have now is lightning but might as well just get this for cheaper price and you get two adapters let's go ahead and put this in here so it does automatically load up your photos as you can see right up at the top so let's go ahead and click. You can import them right here at the bottom, import or delete. Let's go ahead and import them all. Import all, imported. It's importing a nine minute video. I don't even, which may take a while. I'm gonna not import that one. Stop importing, import this one and this one, import. Import all. No, not import all. Import. S import selected. So now it's importing my one minute and 12 second video. So right here it does say import complete on the photos. So I'm going to click keep. And then just go over to photos. And they're right there. So that is the, I don't know, this thing is kind of clunky. As you can see right there, it kind of adds a significant to the bottom of your device. But now I'm going to try the USB to 30 pin. So here is the 30 pin to USB, just like the other one, just has a USB on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into here and yes this does work with a camera because that is like the main function but it does work for more than just a camera it does not work for a, it works with some keyboards but if you can get a USB powered hub that plugs into a wall or a computer you can power anything USB related off this 
So for instance, I will grab a USB drive. I don't think there's anything on here, but take a USB drive. Plug it into there. Cannot use drive because it requires too much power. Thing is not easy to unpull. But I'm going to unplug my iPhone into this to see how that works. Move that piece out of the way. Okay. Take. Well, the end is on the bottom, so I need to plug this and into here. I believe. Oh, no, wrong end, like this. Not easy to plug in. And then I'm going to take my iPhone 5. And it does open to the camera roll. So, yeah, you can transfer between devices. Like, I will show you. I will unplug this. And then there's no photos. And I will close this. And right when I plug my iPhone into here... It does open, so you can transfer between devices. So yeah, here I can select photos, videos. I'll import that. Import selected. Import complete. Keep. And I can go to my photos on my iPad, and I can now... Oh, I did import that video. I can now find where I imported that one, that one would be right here. It's just a video I did and then this one I imported with my SD card. But yes, that was um a video transferred from this SD card to the iPad and this does work with multiple devices okay guys I did grab a few devices they're both 30 pin devices I didn't want to have to bring out my other iPhone 4 and iPod touch fourth generation so let's go ahead and take the iPod fifth generation and pop that in And yeah, so this does bring all of my videos that I have posted. Let's do this one of my lamp. Import, import selected, import complete. Right there. So yes, it does work with multiple devices. Now let's try it with the iPad mini. Whoops. I haven't done it with two iPads. And it's weird, my dock is the exact same. I did not mean to do I did not do that. If I can get this to plug in right here. So yes, this does work on iPad to iPad. I can select select the OS one. Import. Import complete. Ready. Go. Okay. Keep. Go to photos and it's right there. Do not need that one because I already have one as my background. So yeah guys, that is my final, well my first, not really final, that's kind of my first of uh, impressions and unboxing of the iPad camera connection kit. So thank you guys, comment, rate, subscribe.